hey guys welcome back to my channel how have you guys been your girl is great i'm ecstatic i'm happy i'm in great spirits i've had a great day before i even go forward i just have to rant about this pregnant women why do you guys not talk about this fine grant i know not everyone goes through um, what i'm about to share with you guys but maybe just one woman out there would have gone through this and you guys should have just shared with some of us because i was not ready this girl was not ready for everything she has gone through within the first trimester i'm going to be discussing things i absolutely disliked hate maybe a strong word because i really really love this little bunny this sunshine this miracle baby growing in me but the first trimester was hell oh my god thinking about it even i'm running out of breath because it was really hard so i'll be discussing like five things five things that really really kept me down i couldn't do nothing i couldn't do nothing and another thing i would want to say before i even proceed is to give a big thumbs up to all the mamas out there like you guys you guys honestly eh, if you don't experience this thing wait why is this hair messing with me if you don't experience this thing you wouldn't know how it feels Whew. first trimester let me talk about it the first thing yes i know every people talk about vomiting first trimester and all of that i knew yes the vomiting may occur but would you believe when i tell you the first month up until i found out i was pregnant and the like two weeks following that there was no vomiting i was like yes this guy is a champ i'm going to do this i'm going to rock this pregnancy like what do people always complain about what are women always complaining about this thing is so hard Dar, i was like dar, this thing is so easy hey the day i made this exclamation the whole dar is a thing i don't know if it was the 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 ancestors in my village that held the meeting or the devils that heard me saying there i'm rolling my eyes or god that was sending me a sign but the very next day guess what woke, uh, woke me up severe vomiting i went through severe vomiting in the first trimester i had um what's it called one second i need to google this because i i've, I've seen some really big words like oh my god what's this thing called um hyper hyperemesis something like that that's excessive vomiting would you guys believe i lost um about seven cages in the first week seven cages went down first week i was vomiting like mad nothing could stay down when i say nothing this sound bleh, was a very very normal sound in my home i was not ready the second thing i asked that took me this thing it took me off guard was my hate for sense oh would you guys believe i just filmed the video was talking about my favorites scents these candles these perfume no i packed everything that to do with scents and i told hobby if you don't want me to throw these things keep them very far no candles no perfume spray your perfume in the elevator when you're going to work mm -mm 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 -mm. no perfumes around this pregnant lady I did not want no scents, no home fragrances, no candles, no perfumes, nothing. When I say nothing, I couldn't stand scents. The scent of omelet, even when he's in the kitchen making an omelet, I couldn't stand that. Omelet, no. When it's time for omelet, he stays in the kitchen, the door is locked, and I'm in the living room. I cannot stand that. Why had nobody told me about that? I wouldn't even... Would this video be complete if I don't talk about the, my, the like bitter mouth? My mouth was so bitter. I wake up with, a, with my mouth being bitter. I go through the day with a bitter mouth. I go to sleep with a bitter mouth. And obviously that affected my diet. I wasn't eating. And also the weight loss. I lost, I lost weight. The bitter mouth. Not, there was no remedy for it. Some people say drink lemon water. I, how do I stay drinking lemon water 24 as 24 7? Impossible. Try ginger. I tried ginger. What is somebody? I, I, I'm not into calabar. If you don't know what calabar is, it's some African thing, chalk that was some pregnant women consume. I don't, I, I really can't consume that because I, my blood, I just, no, it's not just my thing. I didn't want to go that route. So I've had to deal with bitter mouth as well. It's been horrible. I'm so, so happy I'm past that right now. 
Prior to getting Prime Nahan, let me really talk about this. I used to always sing, oh, I'm on the oily skin side. You can use the skin on my face to fry donuts. Yes, you can use the skin on my face to, to make puff puff competition. What? This pregnancy is sucked out every, all, like, everything. I went from oily or super oily to extreme dry skin. My skin was so dry, so cranky. And guess what? The most amazing thing is I didn't give two fucks about it you just don't even care you feel like shit you wake up feeling like shit you feel so down me my dry skin was just mm -mm, mm -mm. it was not of my it was the last worry for me it was like i have colleagues that you know they should compliment you oh my god your skin is glowing ah at some point they were like dolly did you moisturize this morning yes why is your skin so dry i don't know case closed conversation has ended because only my face eh resting beach face was my mood throughout first trimester oh my god you were literally scared to come close to me. The last symptom or, I don't know, experience that I went through was crazy hormonal and the hair growth due to hormones. <laughs> that one there, I was, I was so shocked and I got scared. Hey, I'm not hairy. I'm, when it comes to hair, hands up, I give it up to, for my husband. He's very hairy. I'm not the hairy one. Hey! Hair will just be growing everywhere in parts you don't want. Boobs, so, eh, arms, so, stomach, everywhere. Hair is growing everywhere. I'm like, mm, 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 mm. this hair has got to stop. I don't know what, I'm still dealing, I'm still struggling with that even right now. I don't know what I have to do with all this hair that is just shooting and sprouting from different parts of my body. This girl is becoming a hairy animal. I don't know what to do about that. I just really wanted to talk about this video. Maybe some pregnant mom, some future pregnant mama would watch this video and would be aware of what is, of what may come. Of course, you may experience this, you may not experience this, but at least you would know. You would be ready in case you do experience this. Because all of these symptoms took me off guard. The only thing that did not take me off guard was the vomiting. But the way it came, the speed at which it came and the weight loss, with which it came, I've been through drips. I took, I went through like fluids in the hospital. About what four to six bags of the fluids. I've been there. I've they've given me uh, injections for vomiting. I've been there. I've done that. What else? We've tried everything. At some point, we got so scared. We got so worried. Like, oh my God, would our little bundle of joy would he or she make it? Because this is really bad. But yeah, I'm past that, and I just wanted to update you guys. Like. I feel good. I feel, of course, some days I wake up feeling like shit, and then some other days I feel like I could rule the world. I just wanted to share these tips with you guys. This, these are my personal experiences. They don't have to be yours. Please don't troll me. I hear they don't troll pregnant women, so please be kind to me. Thank you guys for watching this video. See you in my next. Don't forget to click that subscribe button, and don't forget to give this um, video a big thumbs up. If I shared some stuff, that you didn't know about the first trimester. Bye guys.